Welcome. 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 So right now I'm in the Tony and Stuart Beyond Gallery and right behind me are all the administrative offices which is really nice. They have an open door policy which means you can always walk in and talk to them. I work in admissions so I know I always pop in but it's really nice because they're not like you know hidden or in a different building. They're accessible to all the students and even to the public any time of the day. We have a really small school, we have about 200 students, which means we have a really close, tight-knit community. Our studio classes have about 15 students in them, and our academic classes have about 20 to 24 students, so that's really nice. So right now we're on the lower level. It holds the photography majors and the graphic design majors. I'm specifically in advertising, and there's another pathway, which is communication design. They go hand in hand. One of the classes we're taking here is topography, which is, goes hand in hand with graphic design and advertising. We also take visual dialogues, which is basically the history of graphic design, and we take visual communications. So what's really great is we have a collaboration between students and faculty members. So anytime that I need help with something or need ideas, I can always go to my professor and talk to them about it. So we have a lighting studio for photography majors. They have all the equipment that photo majors could possibly need. We have backdrops, lenses, stands, cameras, anything that you need that's accessible to you. DCAT has the largest traditional darkroom in Delaware, giving students the opportunity to do alternative and analog black and white photography processes. We have 19 enlargers, we have developing stations, drying stations, you name it. In the digital dark room, we have a printer that can print up to 40 feet by 100 feet. We have preview days here. Sometimes there will be like official meetings up here and it's um, a work in progress right now. So sometimes during our common hour, which is like our lunch hour, um, we'll have guest speakers that work in a certain field, like we had a graphic design speaker come, we had an animation speaker and some others, and they came and told us about what it was like to work in the field and that type of thing. So we're on the third floor now. Um, on the third floor we have the library where you can come and check out books and work on the computers. Um, there's also like our academic classrooms and we take English class and an art history class. And also the highlight of the third floor is the animation lab where animators come together, work on the light tables, use the computers. And it's just a fun environment. 3D animation is essentially a figure occupying space in a 3D world and 2D animation is sort of the same thing but it's like flattened so think of like your Saturday morning cartoons. It's a very time consuming process but it's worth it in the end. I really like the result of it. Seeing other students artwork on the walls is really really inspiring. Like I think it's really interesting to see the different thought process going on with other people and the styles and variations and different ideas. In the library, we help students find books in public, institutional, and research libraries while also dealing with interlibrary loans and collecting artwork for our art wall. The library is special because students hang out with each other while also generating ideas together. We have student workspace, study areas, even a hammock for students to just relax and talk to each other about ideas, which really incorporates student life. So we have a periodical section, a newspaper section, and also photography, animation, interior design, graphic design, and also the liberal arts section, all incorporated into one big library. That also includes the Macs and the PCs, color copier, the color printer, the three flatbed scanners, and also just the Wi-Fi to keep everything together. Students come in here to do research on art history, you know, writing for the arts, writing and composition, and it really helps because they can also not only type up things on the computer and write stuff down, they also have the books at their dispensed.
Interior designers consider both social and individual needs, connecting people, space, and form, and function, to the environment. Interior design majors work with DCAD's extensive collection of carpet, tile, and other samples to bring their visions to life, from floor to ceiling. By hand with software such as AutoCAD, interior design students express their imaginations and create practical and aesthetic solutions. So foundation year is really great because you get to learn all of your basic skills which tie into all the majors and that basically is two weeks in each of the six majors that we have here at DCAD and you get to at the end of the year come up with a portfolio of all of your different foundation courses and you get to have like a work from you know each class and you get to present that portfolio to faculty members and get practice about talking about your work and their techniques that you've used and that's really helpful for the working world. So for foundation year we have 2D1 and 2D2 which consist of 2D black and white and 2D color. We have drawing 1 and drawing 2. We have 4D and we have 3D. 2D2 was a really interesting study of how colors work with each other and a lot of science behind mixing colors which I found very interesting. The fifth floor is, I think, the part where most of the drawing gets done. So there's things like graphic design, which get done in the basement, that's all about working on the computer. Here's where we have our drawing rooms, this is where we get all the live models in here. This is where the illustrators go in there and we work with different mediums, oil paintings, all that stuff. That's the hands-on stuff. I feel like the drawing classes here are very focused on technique and exploring a wide range of different techniques and using different materials. So you get to learn a lot of new things and new ways of doing things, so you're kind of ready for anything. All of the teachers and professors here are amazing, they're all so nice, and because it's such a small school, you get to know them really well, and they get to know you and what you like to do and how you like to be taught, so you get a really personal relationship with them. In illustration, we study the real world and try to formulate that to create a convincing story and image. We're allowed to really zone into our work and really focus on it. And up here, I just get the best way of meditating on my own work. It's really great to have a small class size because then you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one attention with your instructor and they can help you figure out your weaknesses and strengths and tell you how to tweak your work to make it better. DCAD is different because the instructors will tell you what the marketplace is looking for and you can ha help adapt your skills to that market. Illustration as a whole, as compared to any other form of drawing, I think is specific to telling a story. So whether it's a cover on a magazine, a storybook, a graphic novel, even a tattoo, it's all about storytelling. And the way that you can convey that story comes from life, but mainly I think it's fueled by the imagination. Right now I think I've got the building blocks for becoming the kind of artist I want to be, and I'm going to use that to further my career and hopefully become a graphic novel artist. Three-dimensional design is more teaching illustrators and other majors the skills required to convey things in a 3D form. So if you work in line, you might understand how a form looks, but if you observe something from all angles and really understand how to craft something, that can just impact your, all your work as an artist. We have saws, we got soldering tools, we have knives of every kind, we got chisels, we have wood of every shape, size, length, anything you can think of. We have all of the power tools, some of which I've never even heard of before. So we're here in the 707. It is home to some of our students. Uh, it is a residence hall upstairs and a cafe down below. It also has laundry facility. DCAD's cafeteria serves well-rounded meals in a bright, relaxing atmosphere. The chef is always open to suggestions and requests for special dining needs. 
Each unit has its own full bathroom, so there's no sharing with anyone down the hall. Individually controlled heating and air conditioning, which is nice. So just around the corner is Jerry's Artorama, and they supply our art kit for the first year students. We are here in the Seville. This is another residence hall for students here at DCAD. This is a student center for the Seville. And we have a ping pong table and it's also used for lounging for students. They come down to do their homework and just hang out with friends and socialize. Just like over at the 707, here at the Seville, we have a variety of rooms, including doubles, triples, and quads. In order to access the Seville or the 707, we are able to use our fobs that are given to us in the beginning of the year. Your next step to a successful career in the arts is as easy as scheduling a campus tour, signing up for a studio experience, or receive a portfolio review. Start here. Start here. Start here. Start here. Start here. Start here. Delaware College of Art and Design invites you to start here.